I'm Jill. I'm the team leader of Team Infinite. Hi, I'm April. I'm the design lead of Team Infinite. Hi, I'm Hui Min. I'm the engineering lead for Team Infinite. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm the marketing head for Team Infinite. Well, this is actually a special program offered by our school as part of the research studies and we signed up for it and were selected through rounds of tests. Well, about 20 people in our level got in and were split into 5 teams. Um, so this competition is actually not just about building the fastest car and winning the race. There are actually different aspects to this. So the other aspect is actually the marketing aspect. So to fund our like, resources and the materials we need, we actually approach companies to provide us with monetary support or merchandise support. So one of our partners is actually NLB, National Library Board, and they have provided us with immense support for this competition and aided us greatly. In this competition, we actually had to do a lot of different stuff and it was actually a very enlightening and eye-opening experience for all of us. Um, firstly, we actually had to design a car and to do so, we had to go through various research um, procedures and we had to use various research methods and one of the methods was the, was the sure method. Yep. And through this method, we actually managed to learn a lot more about F1 in schools as well as how to design a good car. And uh, we're very happy to announce that due to this, this research procedure, we actually managed to do very well and earn the best team identity award. Um, research is actually a very fundamental part in designing the car, and like our designing. Uh, Nip will actually elaborate more on that. Okay, so um, in the design of the car, we actually have to research about what forces act on the car before we can actually start our design process. So one of which would be the frictional drag acting on the car. And to find out more about how this force acts on the car, we actually did a lot of online research. And one of the ways we used Shure was to, for example, by zooming it onto a website called Oracle, which gave us like an example of how frictional drag worked on a swimmer. Firstly, this website said that frictional drag acts on a swimmer because the water molecules actually rub against the swimmer's body and thus slow him, slows him down. The first step was source, in which we had to verify whether the source was, was reliable. We did this by ensuring that the website had a contact us link to the organisers of the competition. The next step would be understand, in which we actually understood about the facts behind the information on the website and we verified that they were not opinionated and biased. Thirdly, we did research, further research on the area of interest which would be frictional drag and we found another website by the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum and we further verified this information. And this source is also reliable as it is a national authority in the US. Finally, we evaluated the information using our personal judgement and therefore we concluded that this information was accurate as it was cross-referenced. Before we used this information in the design of the car by reducing the cross-sectional area of the car so that it will be able to move faster. And as you can see from the pointed tip here, which reduces the cross-sectional area of the car. So another example would be the downforce acting on the car, in which we use the same method to evaluate how the downforce will work on the car. And after using Shure, we found that increasing the speed of the airflow underneath the car would increase the downforce acting on the car so that it would not fly off the track. And we did this by making a small ramp at the bottom of the car, at the back, as you can see here. Uh, research procedure, there was a lot of information and it was very difficult to select uh, a few that we thought would be very accurate and un unbiased. So, 
be you sure again and I'm sure that every single website or any uh, sources that we use could be cross-referenced by other information. And this actually allowed us to ensure that um, all our sources are accurate and our information are correct. This method that we use is really, really useful. So when you do your research, um, you have to ensure that you do it properly and do it detailedly. So it actually saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort. When you get the correct information, you'll be, be able to work out your report correctly, do your project correctly. And it'll just be, because if you do the, get the wrong information, it could end up really disastrous. Yeah. S. Sauce. You understand. R. Research. E. Evaluate. You sure to be sure in your research.